So uh, the, the, the systemic perspective um, will provide with, um, let's say, a framework of modelization, um, with objects of modelization like flows and systems, subsystems, systems, uh, boundaries, envelope, boundaries, etc., uh, which help to visualize and um, understand better. Uh, the, the, the functioning of an ecosystem. Here is a list of um, a correspondence in permaculture, how uh, different uh, design techniques in permaculture find uh, a correspondence in the systemic uh, vision. For example, sectors uh, in permaculture, uh, if you are a bit uh, aware of that uh, term, is the modelization of the incoming flow in the farm and the flow which are coming on the farm. Um, zones uh, and this organization of the farm by zone zero one two three four five is um, zone is uh, to be considered as a subsystem and the idea of this zoning is to um, to optimize the human flow uh, the interaction between human and the different element function of the farm uh, the relationship between elements uh, are as well flows between subsystems. Uh, uh, managing positive interaction is to be seen as managing the, the, the localization uh, of the elements, meaning the subsystem, and the specificities of the flows between the subsystems. Uh. A relationship is a, is a flow. Uh, is a, uh, it can trigger, it can uh, bring uh, energy, it can bring nutrient. It's an exchange. Uh. Um, an example, for example, is uh, when you look at a coffee tree, for example, you will maybe put it under a vanilla bean uh, tree, so it will reduce the impact of the sunlight, so the flow of energy, and it will increase the, the flow of uh, nitrogen um, coming to this uh, coffee tree, and it will have a positive impact in terms of fertilization. So in the previous slide, we saw the um, correspondence between the design technique of permaculture and uh, uh, more like um, simplify uh, modelization uh, of a, s a system, uh, a systemic approach. Here we, uh, I go on with the comparison between the, uh, the principles of permaculture, the 12 principles uh, are as defined in permaculture, uh, how they can be, uh, let's say, envisioned or and how they can uh, be um, enriched. Uh, for example, catch and store energy is not only energy that we try to catch, is uh, as well nutrient. Nutrient means both material and energy, uh, support and uh, energy. Uh, so resources more than uh, only energy. For example, when we uh, capture rainwater, we don't only capture energy. We can, uh, it's energy, for example, if we capture it uh, up the hill, so it will uh, have the gravity uh, in the water, which represents uh, an energy, but as well the water as a, as a material, as a nutrient for plant, for, for human. So you see that in this case, uh, this vision of uh, uh, flow uh, adds some uh, value to the, to the principles. Producing no waste, what does it mean? It means to control and limit the output flow of resources. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have waste, waste, if you produce waste, it means that you have something which had a value before and which go out of the uh, dynamic of your system because it's not used anymore. It's, it's, it has no value, it has no, no dynamic, no, no purpose. So it's like uh, you can consider it as an output flow. Um, um, go, continuing with this notion of output flow, you could consider that share the surplus, which is more like an ethic uh, principle, is uh, one of these output flow. Uh, when we have too much, uh, the system cannot accumulate uh, infinitely uh, resources and energy. It has to, at some point, to give back this energy or, or resources, and then we share the surplus. Or we transform uh, this surplus or the that we cannot consume uh, by exchanging the, the resource with the external world. Uh, for example, selling the, the vegetables, uh, 
And uh, once you get the money in exchange of your of your cell, then you can maybe uh, buy new tools, buy new plants, uh, buy food, some food that you don't produce on site, etc., which will correspond to an input flow.